Hello travelers, welcome to the Battle in Barrow. Come in, come in, come in, pull up a tankard, and let's do a review. Um, that's an elaborate intro. So just recently, uh, my campaign in D&D set in star has gone very pirate. So we've gone, we've really leaned into the pirate. So I'm now sort of calling it the pirates from Mistara campaign. But I need some sort of piratey based models. I've got some sure, I need more. Most of my models are that kind of typical fantasy medieval-esque. So I was looking at different ranges and I've thought about Wargames Foundry. They got a big sort of range that was going to be perfect. So this is not sponsored. I bought these models myself. I thought I'd have a look at three sort of sets of models which I've ordered. Um, actually, if we're talking about pirates, that's better. Uh, yeah, so I've got three different sets. So what have I got ordered? I have ordered um, the they do a whole pirate range. And so I've started with um, Treasure Island, some models from Treasure Island. So I wanted to get we've got a character called Wurt, and and I wanted to get my new model because I just use a generic boy model that I had, kid model that I had. So I wanted to get one that's more in keeping with the game. So we're going to keep this this sort of range sort of covers that. We've got some smugglers. I think that would be good. It's got some little terrain pieces in there. Um, and what else I ordered? Some 18th century civilians. Because I'm... When it comes to models nowadays, I'm more interested in playing character models than monster models. But I love monster models. I love characterful character models. But some models that the, the model itself is their own story. Their own tells their own story. And I love the, this, these models. So I've ordered them. The box has just arrived. So... Let's take a look. Here is the uh, box. It's in a cardboard box. I should point out, shipping is six pound for uh, orders under 150 quid or three above that. And at first, I thought that was a little steep, and it has put me off ordering from them in the past. But I probably won't now because this comes super quick. It's been like ordered yesterday. It got announced it's delivered, and it's here today. And I ordered it the night before that so you know not that long at all so really impressed with the shipping so yeah in a way six quid well worth it uh, let's get into this beastie then uh, let's have a look though no, ordered obviously i am doing my cam my D, &D campaign is effectively pirates of mistara so I've gone for uh, that sort of theme. Also, I've got a load of enemy models. So what I'm doing is building, want to get character models for NPCs and background characters to set scenes in towns and things. I like doing that. So uh, let's have a look. that's the packaging. Yeah, the packaging is this uh, dissolvable stuff. That's cool. So we can get rid of that soon. Um, try and get rid of it explain my address there but these are what we got here we've got three bags uh, let's just see what else is in here I'm not sure there's nothing Ooh, I have a free model I believe that is awesome uh, off camera try and have a look at the invoice see what it says who he is <laughs> I'm getting in there I'm trying to do this without dislodging all the uh, packaging peanuts and I found. Yeah, I don't mention that there is a free model. Hmm. Uh, okay, that's awesome. We got a free model. Unless he's just been forgotten in. So let's have a look at the free model first. What well, I consider it as a free model. And it also didn't come in bases. Uh, that's something else you have to buy extra, but I'm not too worried here. Uh, okay, sort of. Pony on, he's got a bayonet, so uh, he will definitely be finding a place in my uh, campaign. As we have Black Pound or weapons, yeah, I've got a jig with him, Star, but yeah, he's cool. So you can sort of see the detail here on him. Good dudes, it's focused in on him. Uh, yeah, really nice detail. They are metal models, uh, I believe they have a warning they can contain lead. So just be aware of that, and that could affect your decision as well. Uh, what we got? We got 
the civilians. These are the smugglers. I got civilian smugglers. Uh, I got normal uh, townsfolk. Uh, I'll do like that. Uh, I got Treasure Island uh, models. So we're going to have a look at those first because they're the most priority. Um, so these uh, were fourteen pound. Uh, fourteen pound. Yeah, and this many models, which is pretty cool. Seven models. Um, would we'll compare them to Hugo, uh, but Hugo is a War Games Foundry model himself. He's a medieval civilian. Uh, if you ever know where that was from, uh, yeah. So they're comparable. Uh, oh, look here. Uh, without getting up, I have a. Uh, this is a. Frostgrave Archipelago model, so comparable with those. Uh, so I don't have anything else at hand. Let's have a look. So I have oh, this lovely guy here. If I get in, I forget who's who here, apart from the main ones. But you know, these are going to be for my. Uh, Regional pirate, shall I say? Uh, these guys like this for the Mingrafad guilds. These are going to be these sort of guys here. Uh, I'll find another one who's quite similar. Yeah, so anything with the Weeks, as it were, the posh people. So things, just things like Smollett, isn't it? And yeah, so then that's one of these sort. So. Smile at her. Right, so I've got four there, which is in this pile, which is great. Not sort of more wiki based people. Uh, and then we're going to have this is Ben Gunn. So this is like a person who's been on an island, probably talking to a bull. Yeah, I love him, sort of really looks right. Fredbear and sketchy. Yeah, that's Ben Gunn. This is actually Longer on Silver, who will just now become a pirate in my game. See him around. And this is Jim Lad, but he is going to become my player Walker's son Wurt. That's going to be the model here. I love them. I love their faces. They're very expressionate. So, um, I'm going to try and paint a few of these up for this review, but it'll probably just be the old one or two just to see just so you can see how they paint up. And Jim Lad will be the, probably the first one I paint up. Now what, what day is this day? Thursday. Today I am busy all day tomorrow and I'm busy all day Saturday, free Sunday, and the game is Monday because it's a bank holiday, four day bank holiday. Uh, so I've got painting tonight, hopefully. Let's see how far I get. Uh, next up, these are the uh, smugglers. Uh, these are again £14. Um, uh, I should point out, um, I don't think I mentioned this in the intro, I may have mentioned it, um, but I did buy these myself. This isn't a sponsored in any way, shape, or form video. I just needed to get some more interesting models. Uh, and these are the smugglers. So you get four actual models, if you like, and then ooh, bits of terrain of stuff they're smuggling for a smuggler's cave. So these will again just be used in my game as sort of pirates, but players can either have a party crew or fight against hmm. and they might infiltrate a smuggling ring and get in they're really nicely detailed I'm sort of talking over them as letting you make your own mind up but just the buckles on the shoes and the uh, sort of stocking feet and they just look like the clothes are a bit fred uh, a bit worn so I really like the detail you can see there um, 
someone just carrying stuff which is always good for a setting up scene in say a dockyard as with metal models you will get this sort of flashing but that's easy enough to get rid of um, and if you are using lead based models wash your hands after you've handled them at all times but again look at this just lovely lovely detail so you could be working down the docks with Hugo have a look at the little scab bits first so it's just probably smuggling rum in there great stuff so yeah these would be just fantastic just to add a scout scenery in a town or a cave perfect I actually needed something like this the other day we have little sort of baskets tubs sacks crates and books is that books that's pretty cool and then a uh, lantern here with a sack that let Hugo keep bringing him in he could be adding to it you're going to be part of the smuggling ring Hugo I think and of course my favorite is this guy who I forget who they call it and what they refer to him as, but it's not like a smoke, it's like some sort of old guy. Um, I, I'll probably put it up in text here. Who these are, and I'll probably do that for all of them actually if I remember. I probably don't remember, but yeah, he's got a lantern up, but he could be a smuggler though. Um, he could be like Captain Clegg, just it could be his disguise. Uh, yeah, he's a great model, I really like him. He, these are all beginning. Some excellent use in my games to come, and now the last set. This is townsfolk. Uh, this is uh, sort of from the uh, horse and pike range, horse and shop range. Again, I'm going to be putting up corrections up here, like no one's business. Uh, but yeah, so I moved away from sort of medieval and dark ages. I bought before from. War games, uh, and we are sort of moving on the centuries to be more piratey. Uh, the are there are six models in here for twelve pounds, which is cool. And I remember her; she's called Nancy. She is a sort of more middle-aged lady, which is nice to see. Only there, so sort of more manufactured to make them all young and naked almost where this is a good model still with uh, cleavage as was the style at the time uh, yeah which is pretty cool like uh, this is called a landlord but i've already got so many landlord models uh, let me just use this as probably a bar patron street fighter holding the bottle look like he's going to assault someone yeah they're all Similar dress fashions, all the models I've got. There is a theme here. Really cool clothes. This is a boy thief, and I believe he is running off with a piglet. Hope you can see there. In the market, run off with a piglet. Lovely, just for a bit of character. I believe this is called the merchant. Yeah, a bit more of an upmarket guy, grumpy face. Perhaps he's a merchant of the Mingfrag Guilds in mind. Come aboard to do some trading. Uh, come ashore to do some trading. Yeah, he's really cool. I like that kind of model. I like to like it, like it. Uh, here is I don't know, just some sort of one-legged piratey guy, beggar. Uh, so we've got a couple of one-legged ones. Let's have a look. See who's who. Who's who's the most one-legged? Uh, where are you? Uh, where have you gone, Long John Silver? Where can I find you? And there you are. Thank you. So hang ahead. And they're having a one leg off. Yeah, interesting. Very nice and detailed. And this chap here, 
he's going to be my harbour master. He's ringing a bell, sure, but he's just announcing ships in, checking them off his list. He's a town crier. He's going to be my harbour master. And based upon that guy you first see in Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the uh, Black Pearl. And so going back to the Treasure Island Sea series, we're doing two for that. Is this one here? I forgot to mention who has a. I said he had a wig on. He doesn't as such. Well, he sort of does. He has long hair, but this is Blind Pew uh, from Treasure Island. So he's got a thing over his eyes. And we've just watched uh, Yellow Beard, uh, which has John Cleves as a character called Blind Pew. And I said I was going to bring that sort of character into the game. Found a model of Blind Pew, and so that is who is coming into the game, my game world. Uh, and so these are probably going to be the free I'd paint because uh, I'll need these soon. But I do want to get them all painted. Okay, I got them painted. Here they are. Um, got them all painted. Uh, I think we'll start with the back one first. This is the freebie I got. I painted them up. Don't hate me, historical people. I wasn't too sure what he was, so I just painted them up to be like what's going to be my IRND Navy, which is based upon the British Navy course. Let's put him to one side, put him back here. So here we have, forgive my painting skills, they are not the best. I'm trying to zoom into his face. Boy Chasing Pig, love this model. Uh, the Merchant, the Veteran, the Town Crier, the Tavern Owner, Lovely Nancy, these are great. Uh, based on one side. Next up, they were the 18th century civilians. Next up, we've got the uh, smugglers. So, uh, we've got the guys, I forget their names, but I've got three smugglers. Uh, I forget him as well. I can't remember his name. I <laughs> should have done some research, but yeah, that's what they look like. The beach terrain, just sort of painted up in the same way to match my beach tiles here. These are all fantastic models. And at the back here is the cast, some of the cast anyway, from uh, models based upon Treasure Island. Here's Jim Lad, who I, in my world, am using as our character Newt. Not, not Newt, but. Uh, yeah, ignore my painting. I am not a good painter in any shape or form. I get them done so I got colour, so they look tabletop ready. Uh, with my eyes, I'm surprised I got any detail on faces at all. So, somewhat happy with these. Uh, this is Long John himself, Ben Gunn. Playing Pew, and then I forget off it. He's Doctor, someone else, smart. I forget which one's which here. But I'm using these to be uh, Navy officers in my Irandy Navy, hence the blue, yellow, and white motif. That's going to be the officers. So for me, I'll probably use him as a surgeon. I think he's the Doctor model anyway. Admiral and Captain, that's what I'll be using them for. But yeah, that is. War Games Foundry models. I actually love these. I love the, the characterful nature of the models. There is each model itself tells a story on its own, and I thoroughly love that. I love the fact that the smugglers, I got a bit of a uh, set decoration. You can never have too much of that to lay down. And the NPCs, just yeah, these are just phenomenally great fun. I might buy a few more of these uh, to uh, use in my games. Uh, oh, where's, where's the veteran? You're missing from the middle. Yeah, do, do, you, do you like these models? Let me know in the comments. Uh, what other models in from War Games Foundry would you recommend for my game world, my uh, campaign? You think about yes, Pirates of the Caribbean esque set in Mastara is how I'm running it. So uh, let me know. Uh, what, if there is there a range you want me to look at as well, let me know that too. I think that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, 
until the next one guys stay safe take care bye 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 bye